Okay, we open Elka Master and this is the download screen, we've got a view screen. Uh, the one we're interested in is the library. Um, we're going to create a new report design. We're going to new. And we're going to call it Rand Sand Blasting EFT. Let's put the date in. EFT notes this one. And we're going to go next. It's a dry film thickness report. And we're going to do our 10 batches. I'm going to finish there. Okay, so now we've got our new report. It's a blank page. We've got the 10 dry film thickness batches down the side here. We've got a couple of standard report items, manual entry report items, and calculation report items. First step is we're, we're going to import the uh, PDF of the Excel document and it's on my desktop under Alchemist Reports and it's this one here, the Rand Sandblasting DFT Readings Big and there it is and we're going to select that. So this now is going to be in the background of our page. So There it is. Um, you can zoom out of it and see that we've got the whole page there. Okay, so first step is we are going to do the readings. So item number, I'm going to come here to drive from thickness batch one, and we're going to go to batch labels and take the batch name. Under batch labels, there are a couple of options. So we're going to put the batch name and it's drag and drop. Uh, and you can resize like this. So we're going to put the batch number one name there. Okay, now we're wanting reading number one to go in there. So we've got batch readings on the left here. We expand that and we've got our 10 readings there. We can change this by clicking up and down here. Okay, but 10 is good for us. Uh, reading number one is going to be here. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's quite big, but we can um, resize that. And then batch number two would be here. And we can carry on up to batch 10. An easier way is to do the following. It's going to delete that reading number two. Is we resize this one to the correct size. And then we control C and control V nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we copied it and pasted it nine times. And then we have the correct size which we then drag and drop into the correct areas. This is quite fiddly, but once you create the report once, it's the template remains there for, for all your readings going forward. So there's reading number four, reading number five, reading number six, Reading seven, six, you can just move six a little bit. Um, reading eight, reading nine, and reading ten. So we've got all the readings. Um, and just to confirm, that is that is reading one. Okay, so now we've got reading one, reading one will now appear in, in all of them, which is not what we want. So we want to change this. So we double click on it. And we change the item to two. And save that. And reading three. Similarly, reading three. So again, it is quite fiddly. But once it's been done, 
then a template is there for however many people or how many times you want to use it. Um, so we're doing reading number five. And reading number six. So when you drag and drop this first batch into this template, each of these uh, areas will be populated with the with the readings. So we are reading now reading number eight. Reading number nine. And reading number ten. Something that I didn't do at the start and it would have been easier is again if you just highlight all of them by control clicking. Um, we've got the box and it's got outlines. We can take these outlines off. And something else we can do is to align them exactly correct, we can take this and the top is 161. So we can copy that and then highlight. So this this one, the position is slightly different. That's pretty close. Basically, we can highlight all of them and enter and enter that size and position here. So now all of them will be exactly the same as cell number one.